Here Abu Bakr al-Baqillani wrote in the 3rd century, he wrote a book called I'jaz al-Qur'an, The Miracle of the Qur'an. And it's, you know, when I read that book, I was really sad, the first page. The first page of that book is very, very sad. He talks about how the miracle of this book, the scholars have given up on it, the Muslims don't appreciate it, they don't value this book for what it is, and we have come to the end of times. He's talking like this in the 3rd century. <laughs> Wait till he sees 2010, huh? SubhanAllah. <laughs> You know, and he's that depressed in the third century of Islam. But anyway, he talks about reviving the idea of what makes the Quran miraculous. He talks about its miraculous language. But one of the things he says, he argues one of his chapters, is part of the miracle of the Quran are the predictions of the Quran. The predictions of the Quran. The Quran made a call. The call was Rome will dominate within 10 years. Within 10 years, they're going to make a comeback. They were dominated now, within 10 years, they'll come back against the Persians. The Quraysh heard that and said, come on. There's no way. They were crushed and annihilated within 10 years. And this, did it come true? Absolutely. This was a prediction, rather a promise made in the Quran. Now, another promise made in the Quran, Abu Lahab will be destroyed. And if you didn't already realize, Abu Lahab is one of the sharpest tongues, one of the cleverest enemies against the Prophet ﷺ. One of the easiest ways Easiest ways, the Qur'an made itself open to attack. Abu Lahab could turn around and say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa If he just says that, even if he says it sarcastically, you know what he could do? He could say, look, your book says I'm being destroyed, I'm burning in hell, but here I am taking what? Shahada? The shahada is supposed to do what? Protect me from the hellfire. So I guess your book is wrong. He could do that. He has years to take this opportunity to attack the messenger in this way. But the Qur'an said about Fir'aun, وَصُدَّ عَنِ sabil. He was kept from the path. Fir'aun was kept from the path. And he landed himself in Tabab. And tabbat yada abi lahabin wa tab. And what did we do? Miraculously, what did we find in the Qur'an? He's making sarcastic commentary about his hands, saying, hey, my hands still are here. You know? May you be destroyed. I don't see anything that Muhammad talked about. That's what he would say publicly. He would make sarcastic commentary. Never once did he take the opportunity to do what? Take shahada. It was open to attack. He never did it. He never did it. And we learn from that, وَصُدَّ عَنِ السَّبِيلِ was fulfilled on him too. He was kept from accepting the path. He was kept from it, fulfilling the promise of Allah Azza wa Jal. Fulfilling that promise. This is part of the miracle of Qur'an. When Allah makes a promise and it's guaranteed, it is bound to occur. إِنَّمَا تُوْعَدُونَ لَوَاقِرَ Whatever you have been promised is guaranteed to occur, no doubts about it. May Allah Azza wa give us an appreciation of the remarkable beauty of the Qur'an. May Allah make us of those who recite it properly day and night and understand it. May Allah make us of those who fulfill this wonderful hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu He says, I'd like to conclude with it. Ya Ahlul Qur'an, people of Qur'an, la tatawassadu al-Qur'an. Don't relax with the Qur'an. Don't be lackadaisical about the Qur'an. Tatawassadu actually literally means don't turn it into a pillow. Don't lean on it. وَتْلُوهُ حَقَّ تِلَاوَتِهِ مِنْ أَنَاءِ اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ Read it like it deserves to be read. Follow it like it deserves to be followed. In all hours of the night and day. وَفْشُوهُ And spread it. وَتَغَنَّوهُ And beautify it. وَتَدَبَّرُوا فِيهِ And reflect deeply in it. لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ So that all of you may succeed. اللهم اجعلنا من المفلحين May Allah make us from those who succeed. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن الحكيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات الحكيم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.